this is going to be a bit more of a casual video if you are watching this on Thursday happy Thanksgiving in the US of A I have a bunch of lenses out in front of me hopefully you guys can see that on the camera and what I'd like to do is just go through uh, the top 10 lenses that I recommend if you are trying to buy something here during this holiday season so either during Black Friday or through the rest of the month and the rest of December. These are all lenses that uh, I have purchased, all of these in front of me, these are my own. Uh, these are based on my own impressions and I've reviewed a ton of different lenses on this channel. Um, and so this guide is going to be helpful if you have an APS-C camera and also if you have a full frame Sony mirrorless camera because I have both APS-C and full frame lenses, about 50-50 actually in my top 10 list. So let's jump straight into it. Uh, the surprising edition, and I think the best lens release of 2021 is this little lens right here. This is the new Sigma 18 to 50 f 2.8. It is an awesome little walk around, do everything lens. Uh, this was a surprise this year for sure. I did not expect Sigma to come out with this lens. It performs amazingly well and the price is simply unbeatable. Now, this is a normal price lens, so it's not on sale during the holidays, but I still recommend purchasing it because it's such a, uh, a great sharp all around lens. It's super compact as well, constant f2.8, very sharp. This is uh, one lens, if you can only have one lens for your Sony a6000, a6600, whatever it is, this is the guy to get because it will give you everything you need, portraits, wide shots, landscapes, in a tiny little easy to travel with package. Now, while I'm on the subject of the Sigma 18 to 50, it is worth noting that I have um, two other options here. The first is the Sony 16 to 55 f2.8, which is another uh, great walk around lens. And this lens is very, very good. I would argue it probably is better than the Sigma in a couple of areas. Um, in particular, the zoom ring is just super duper smooth and optically it might be a touch sharper than the Sigma, but the price on this, even during the sales, is $12.99. So it's significantly more money. I just don't see the value in buying this lens over the Sigma um, at the price point, even though I like this lens a lot and I'm not selling it. It's part of my collection probably for eternity. Um, so there is that. The other lens is the one I'm actually recording with this one right here and that is the Tamron 17 to 70 f2.8 with vibration compensation so um, also another great walk around lens gives you a little bit of a wider zoom range I'm going to do a three-way comparison between those three lenses so look out for that number two on the list is going to be uh, my second favorite uh, do anything do everything lens um, and I featured this in a video called if I could only have one lens this was the one, and this is the Sigma 16 millimeter f1.4. Uh, this is a workhorse of a lens. You'll see this one is a little bit beat up because my wife actually uses this lens on a daily basis for recording her YouTube videos. Uh, very sharp, excellent in low light. Uh, autofocus is silent, smooth, just amazing lens, really. The Sigma Primes, you'll actually see that on this list today, I think I have six sigmas maybe five or six sigmas that i'm recommending but you cannot go wrong with this line from sigma so highly recommend picking up the 16 millimeter and the good thing about this lens is that it is um i listed it as a great price it's the lowest that i've seen 349 dollars for uh black friday so definitely worth the money i think this is one of those lenses you can pick up for 350 bucks use it for a couple of years and you'll probably get at least $300 out of it whenever you go to sell it. So it's kind of like a win-win, a no-brainer purchase. Uh, next on the list, number three, is uh, basically my next favorite of the Sigma Trio, which is the 56 millimeter uh, portrait lens. Now this thing is very small, very compact, but it is the absolute best portrait lens that I've ever used for APS-C cameras, highly, highly recommended, super duper sharp. I've said this before in numerous videos, I think that the Sigma 56 f1.4 is the absolute sharpest lens 
that is available for Sony APS-C. And so far, no one's ever challenged me on that, and I haven't found another lens that is sharper than this one. So absolutely amazing. And the great thing about this is it's insanely affordable. Now, um, normally this is about $429 if you're just shopping around. But during Black Friday, I don't know if they're going to drop this price anymore or how long this is going to be out. But it is $369, which is, I mean, truly amazing. Again, this is one of those lenses you can buy for $369, use it for a couple of years, and you'll still sell it for probably very close to $369, if not more. Uh, next, number four on my list is the Sigma 30mm f1.4 to round out the trio. Uh, now, you guys, this should come as no surprise because I recommend these lenses all the time, almost in every video. So, this 30mm, hopefully you guys can see that, is a very nice lens. This is the oldest one out of the trio, so arguably it's probably the worst out of the Sigma trio of f1.4 lenses, but... I use this lens on a weekly basis because this is what I use to record my videos, my YouTube videos in this room. Now, I'm not doing that today because you can see this kind of an ultra wide. I'm using a full frame camera to re record this video just because I wanted to have the majority of my lenses here on this table, but highly recommend the 30 millimeter. Also, an amazing price. I'd say great price on that. This thing is $261 today on Amazon. Absolutely unbeatable. I paid, I think, $330 or $320 for this lens. And so um, $70 bucks off is a great deal. Again, one of those things that you can buy, use it forever, and probably recoup most of your money, if not all of it. Next one on the list is actually another Sigma. Um, and I promise this is not a sponsored video. I'm not a Sigma fanboy. Maybe I'm a little bit of a Sigma fanboy, but I really do think that when it comes to value for money, you cannot go wrong with Sigma lenses. This one in particular is one that I actually haven't reviewed on this channel uh, yet, but I've used it pretty extensively over the last couple of months. I actually picked this up in a trade deal locally uh, a couple of months ago. Um, I want to do a review. Maybe if you guys are interested in doing a review, leave that down below, but this is the Sigma. 85 millimeter f 1.4 dg dn art this is by far actually i said the sigma 56 millimeter is the sharpest aps-c lens but i'll tell you guys this this 85 millimeter f 1.4 art lens is the sharpest full frame lens i've ever tried period um, and i think that's been confirmed by a number of other reviewers on youtube and just on the internet in general this is a very very sharp lens has a number of cool switches on it hope you can see that uh, autofocus hold button uh, on and off aperture click so you can turn that off if you like um, autofocus and manual focus switch just an amazing lens comes with a huge lens hood as well uh, if you are doing portrait work on and you're doing it for money if you're shooting weddings this thing is truly a remarkable machine piece of machinery it gives you amazing bouquet just super super sharp optics now as far as pricing is concerned um, it's a normal price so it's not on sale during the holidays this thing is one thousand one hundred and forty nine dollars which is a lot of money but uh, for a f 1.4 85 millimeter for full frame it's kind of par for the course, but very, very sharp. Highly recommend that lens. Uh, all right, next on the list is uh, the little ultra wide angle that I can't seem to get rid of. This is the Laowa 9mm f2.8. And I have tested a number of ultra wide lenses on this channel. In fact, Tamron came out with an APS-C ultra wide uh, this year, the 11 to 20 f 2.8 which is great um, highly recommend that lens as well if you want autofocus but for me personally for some reason i cannot seem to let go of this little nine millimeter manual lens it's one of the few manual lenses that i keep and i've kept forever basically because it gives you a super super wide field of view for real estate photography for doing uh, gimbal work for doing architectural work i mean this is unbeatable there's really not a wider rectilinear lens available for APS-C. 
And I think that's one of the reasons why I keep it so small, super, super compact, uh, very nicely built. I mean, it's metal construction, super lightweight. Uh, you can throw this thing in a bag easy and not really worry about it too much. So as far as pricing is concerned, this lens is normally $500 during Black Friday, Cyber Monday. The price that I'm seeing is $449. So you get about a $50 discount, which is a good price, I think. Uh, it's, you know, 50 bucks. This lens almost never goes on sale. I've never seen it on sale. So 450 is the lowest I've ever seen it. All right. So next on the list is more full frame lenses. I talked about the 85 F 1.4, the best walk around lens, uh, that I found for Sony full frame. And this is again, a lens that I haven't reviewed yet, unfortunately, but I will be, that's probably my next video, is this one right here. This is a Tamron. This is the 28 to 75 F2.8 G2. So the second generation, this one has a little focus hold button, has a USB-C port here on the side. Uh, there are a number of updates. Now, this is a very important lens for Tamron. Well, because the original, which I have right here, was a very important lens when they released it about three years ago. So this is the updated model. You can see size-wise it's about the same, uh, but optically it is completely different, uh, much better. And I am releasing a video, I'll show you guys the difference here in the next week or so between uh, this G2 model and the original. But needless to say, this new one is uh, designed in Japan. It's actually made in Japan. The build quality is just a step up. Uh, very, very nice. Uh, as far as a walk around lens that does everything instead of the Sony uh, 24 to 70 G Master that costs $2,000, you can pick this thing up for $899 and you will get an amazing lens that probably f performs better than that Sony. I'm not even joking about that. That Sony is an older lens. So highly recommended if you have a full frame Sony mirrorless camera and you're looking for a great walk around lens, pick this thing up. Even if you have the old Tamron 28 to 75, is it worth the upgrade? Yes. The short answer is yes, it's worth the upgrade. Again, not on sale for Black Friday. That's just the normal price, $899, but I think it's well worth it for the performance that I'm seeing with that lens so far and video is to come. Next on the list is a Sony lens, and this is actually the only Sony lens that I am featuring in this top 10 list, which is kind of sad, but nonetheless, here it is. This is the Sony 50 millimeter F 2.8 macro. And what I've done over the last couple of months is I have sold off all of my APS-C macros, um, my manual focus macros, and I've started using this thing exclusively for macro photography. It's a super compact, lightweight, easy to use macro lens, uh, does one-to-one -one magnification, has some nice switches on the side, focus hold. You could do focus limiter switch as well. Uh, this thing is also not on sale. Uh, normal price, I think, is, let's see, yeah, $548, and that's exactly the price of that lens today. So even though it's an older lens, an older design, as far as macros, it's, I mean, it's hard to make a bad macro that isn't sharp corner to corner. That Sony does a great job, and I think it's worth the price. Uh, even if you have an APS-C camera, I use it on my APS-C setup all the time. Um, but it's designed for full frame. All right, lens number nine. Uh, this is also another one that I haven't reviewed yet um, because I don't know, uh, but I've enjoyed using it. I use this thing a lot for real estate photography, and that is the Rokinon slash Samyang 14 millimeter F 2.8 FE. I'll give you guys a close-up shot of what it looks like. There it is. This thing is an awesome, mostly metal, a ton of glass constructed, ultra, ultra wide angle lens for full frame Sony mirrorless cameras. Basically, it gives you about the same field of view as this Laowa 9mm, but on a full frame camera and with autofocus. So it definitely makes shooting uh, real estate photography a little bit easier. Uh, this particular model is on sale for Black Friday and Cyber Monday. So the price that I'm seeing right now is $423. I think it's just over 500 normally. So you're saving a little bit of money here. 
and as far as which one to get, I think the Samyang, for whatever reason, is the one that people like a little bit more than this Rokinon that I have, but they should be identical. Samyang and Rokinon are basically the same thing, just two different brands. Um, and the last lens on my list of top 10 to buy during this holiday season is actually one that I don't have in front of me, but as you have noticed probably throughout the course of this video, what I'm missing is a telephoto lens. I don't have one in my collection currently. Um, this is basically all the lenses I have. I have a couple of them boxed up, maybe three or four more. Um, but this is my personal collection of lenses. This is what I've kept around over the years. I don't have a telephoto just because I don't use telephoto lenses all that often. But the one that I have reviewed most recently and the one that I've liked over the last year is another Tamron. Uh, that is the Tamron 150 to 500. Uh, I don't even remember. It's like an f5.6 to 6.3. It's a di3 VC VXD lens. So it gets you a huge, huge zoom range. Uh, very sharp. It's not the best at fast action work. It's not going to be great in low light. But as far as an excellent telephoto lens that's going to get you really close to the action and give you a huge, huge zoom range, I mean up to 750 millimeters if you're using it on an APS-C camera, that is the lens that um, I would pick up personally. Unfortunately, it's not on sale for Black Friday, Cyber Monday. The price is $12.99, still pretty expensive because again, it is designed for full frame. Um, and I will say this, there are a couple of other interesting Tamrons, in particular the 35 to 150, which is a fast semi-telephoto, but basically do everything lens that um, I haven't had my hands on yet, but I'm excited to review that one. Um, that might be a little bit better if you don't need that huge zoom range. But if you need something that goes out to 500 millimeters, that Tamron is an excellent choice. And uh, it's about the same price as the Sony 70 to 350. So I'd say it's a better buy than even that Sony. Um, anyway, that is going to be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Hopefully this was helpful. I know this is pretty quick, um, but I wanted to send this video out just in case you guys are shopping around and you have no idea what to buy. If this is your first new camera and you're wondering what lens do I buy, um, I'd start at the very beginning of this video. Again, the Sigma 18 to 50. Uh, that is the one lens solution for you. And then uh, I'd pick up the Sigma Trio next. But all of these lenses are excellent. As always, I'll link every one of these lenses down in the description box below if you are looking at uh, prices or you're looking at specs or if you're looking at buying one of these things. So definitely check those out. Uh, if you want to take advantage of some of these sales, I mean, you're saving 50 to 70 to $100 on some of these lenses currently. So definitely take advantage of it. Um, and again, um, the majority of these are lenses that I have recommended for years just based on personal experience. So a lot of them are not surprises. Let me know down in the comments if you guys didn't see a lens on this list that you thought should be on it. Always curious if you guys have different opinions as far as your favorite lists of lenses. Um, and that is going to be it for me. Thank you guys so much for all of your likes, all of your comments and your support. Stay tuned for more videos and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.